What's up guys, it's Jeff Chan from MMA Shredded and I'm here at Kulikov Grappling Academy here in McCullen, Texas. I'm here with Vlad, he's a BJJ black belt, judo black belt, and sambo black belt. He's also a national champion. Today, he's gonna be showing us three techniques using the two-on-one sambo style. Now, before we get started, have you ever wondered how the best combat athletes in the world train and improve? I know you guys have all asked me how I personally develop my speed and explosivity. Well, I'm excited to share with you guys the Fighting Fitness Fundamentals Program, an eight-week progressive workout routine to expand your strength, speed, and athleticism. You will learn never-before-released techniques to develop an explosive and powerful core, more violent kicks and punches, and overwhelming grappling strength. This is the program I follow three times a week to get to the shape I am in. Learn the behind-the-scenes secrets to my style and become a better martial artist with coaching from my personal trainer, Ben Johnson. For more information, click the link in the description box below. There is a particular grip, guys. It's called the oblique grip ensemble. Kasoy Zahvat. She's gonna have the wrist and her arm. And oblique grip is also like a, a unilateral grip because you're on one side. We're gonna go and grab my partner right here. Sometimes go appellate, uh, your hand kind of can travel depending on your partner's height and girth. Generally, my rule of thumb, I like the armpit. How do we grab? One, first contact. Number two, if he has this leg forward, I know he's gonna reach for his lapel. Interception, re-grab, boom. And third one, for the most part, that's what I use. When you messed up first contact, when you messed up intercepting, he already grabbed up, you too late for the first two. Hands right here, knuckles roll is in. Uh, as you break the grip, make sure to lean back a little bit, but not too far back, so you're out of position, right? If you stay in the same plane, we're all strong here, this uh, grip break is gonna be super tough to do. Boom, boom. Oblique grip, just right here. The easiest takedown, guys, is called Sumigayashi, what we call Brasokchi is Golvo. I love it, and I love teaching two Jujiteros. If Jujitero takes anything as far as takedowns from my seminar or my lesson, it should be this one. So, watch, guys, we have a collecting, uh, collected grip here, nice and tight control, collect here, S you know, cinch in, small the circle, make the circle smaller, head here, okay? And the first thing I will do, big wind up with this leg, right, guys? With my right leg, I'm gonna make big wind up. Uh, it achieves two goals. I'm getting close underneath him, so I'm not extended. So he's gonna be right on my leg, on my hook. And number two, I engage my left arm. The left arm is a huge power source. If I'm here, I have a certain pull, but once I step here, that pull is gonna be multiplied, okay? I'm gonna insert my left leg, my shoelaces on his inner thigh, not on the leg. If I go on the leg, lift your leg up, lift your leg up. You see, flexibility comes to play. It's gonna be hard to lift my partner. But if I make a hook by inner thigh, flexibility matters not whatsoever. Stay connected, keep high school over to this position, and then you can decide. If we were not wearing geese, right, uh, one of the most, co yes, collar tie just like this, right? All the you have to address it. I'm gonna tilt my head. I don't change my levels like I'm ducking, right? I'm just like a curious dog. Uh, my arms becomes like a bulldog arm. This one, as I shuck by, tilt my head and catch. Just like that. Okay, guys, you don't have to, uh, for the most part, whatever we can do here, we can do here, right? I'm gonna keep this control. If I don't grab the gi, see clamp, we're pretending there's no gi, watch. And my head drives in, okay? I just want an angle. If I stay like this, he's gonna rip his arm out back to 50-50 and it's gonna be fair fight. Shoulder control, tight. Uh, pressure, you feel it, Jeff, right? Head control. And now, uh, I'll do five minutes carry, legless as a matter of fact. You can do with a leg, I'll show you. I like to do it foolproof because I got caught way too many times on pussy right? Anytime you extend your arm, you might get caught. So, we either apply pressure down, expect now a person to come up, and that's my cue to roll in, or we can open the door to engage legs it's never just thumbs, right? It's always legs in, like this. And as my partner rotates, I will counter rotate and duck under. Oh. After we got this grip, open the door, give him a shot bite. The better wrestler will rotate fewer centimeters, if you feel uh, less space, or a wrestler who's not that good, not such good balance, will go far. So I open the arm and I counter rotate towards the camera as I duck under like this, okay? My point of contact, I try to go on my both shins like this, less pressure per square inch, opposed to like this, when you're banging up your knees. Make sure you're super straight. If you enter for your five minutes carry, it will be bent over like this. I'm not directly under my partner, he can squash me. I have to be straight, right? I straight and I sit down on my heels and bow 
when I'm ready to take him down and note my quarter recovery step. Many people focus on a duck under, which is not wrong. And uh, uh, more specifically, on a speed of duck under. <laughs> right there, right? But look what happens. Uh, it, it is an important part, the speed. But uh, what's even more important is the hard arm pull. Right, guys? If I don't pull arm, I enter like this and look at my lift. Lopsi lop lopsided. Very uh, uh, labeled. But if I pull him, I become a rock over which he runs and trips over. And I want my neck to be not here, but here. So Jeff is like a lamb on shepherd's shoulder. So his weight distributed evenly. Like this. See guys? I like to do a, a legless, but you may shoot your arm. Boom, releasing the wrist. Shooting right up the butt crack. Not here. That's how you get caught. Hey, crucifix, exactly. Here. One of the ways to uh, run you two on one is what wrestlers call key lock. And note guys, if I play, no, we're, we're pretending there's no gi. I'll catch Jeff with a thumb here. Super important. On two on one, you need to have your C clamp. But this hand, no thumb, thumbless. Just like this, right? So I got here, kind of punch it in a little bit, hook, grab myself, drive into him. Most common reaction when you drive into somebody. And I will only do it if they drive into me. If, if, if I push into Jeff and he, he gets back enough, I'll get the single leg or whatever. Right? But Jeff ain't no little bitch. If I push him, he's a man, he wants to push back. Right, he pushes back and that's when I... Two on one, I push into my guy and when he pushes back, I step back with his leg and I try to cut angle with my head between my partner's legs. And watch guys, I do not throw his arm here like this. I'm not that much of an asshole, right? I don't want to snap my partner's arm. I actually go here. Once I go here, what happens? I start to bench him, right? I start to bench him so that's our power source and I don't break his arm. Because, you know, he's my partner, man. I don't want to break anybody's arm, even in competition. So it's not here. Like if, I mean, if it's a life and death situation, you can go rip the hammer lock this way, but normally I go here. Another common mistake, guys, you don't elicit the push pull or whatever, and you kind of like start to fall in a weird fashion. We are conjointed at the hip like Siamese twins, and maybe I will roll him, maybe I will not roll him like this. Yeah. So make sure to uh, put out a cigarette and die between legs. If you slow down the camera and take a picture of me doing this throw, we become not feet to feet, but we become perpendicular. All right, guys? So I got my two on one, give you push, you push back, head here, easy. Boom! I'm behind my guy, same thing. Hip heist, come up, and now we can try to hammer lock, or we can swing by and go for a Whatever second, whatever he gives us. Collar tie, shot by the wrist control, reverse key lock, pressure, he pushes back, put now a cigarette, going over, maintaining the connection. 